what's going on guys let's try this problem right here this question is asking a small source of light at the bottom of bottom face of a rectangular glass slab 2.25 cm thick is viewed from above rays of light totally internally reflected at the top surface outline a circle of 7.6 cm in diameter on the bottom surface determine the refractive index of the glass so question is asking for the refractive index so we are going to find ng that's the question now let's see how we can find it first of all here we have this one we have theta c but we don't know the angle and we know this total distance is 7.6 meter i mean 7.6 centimeter therefore this one if we if we i mean if we can find this distance we can use tan theta to find this angle because we have the adjacent and if we find this opposite side that's, that will help us to find this theta c now let's go ahead and find this one and this is going to be basically this total distance divided by 4 because you know that this is almost half of this and this one divided by 2 is going to be the distance right here so if you divide 7.6 divided by 4 and that's going to give you 1.9 centimeter so this this distance right here is going to be 1.9 centimeter now we can go ahead and use tan theta to find this angle so tan theta c is going to be opposite over adjacent opposite is 1.9 centimeter and adjacent is 2.25 centimeter therefore theta c is going to be tan inverse of this value and if you divide you should get 0 0.844 so tan inverse 0 0.844 and that's going to give us 40.179 degree so this is the angle of theta c now we have the critical angle since we know the critical angle it's easy to find the index of refraction because index of refraction is 1 over sine theta c so if we plug 1 over sine theta c that's going to give us the index of refraction so this is going to be 1 over sine and we know the critical angle that is 40.179 179 degree and if you calculate this one you should get 1.55 and that's going to be the index of refraction of this class and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.